welcome to the graduation with line technique. This hair shape continues the graduation series and shows how graduations and lines can be combined to not only produce a modern shape, but also form the basis for many other variations. Prior to shampooing, make a thorough assessment of hair growth and hairline patterns, paying particular attention to the hairline and through the front. At this point, make a decision on the hair length. Once the hair has been shampooed, find the natural parting by combing the hair back and pushing slightly forward. Now take a vertical section and then two diagonal sections that will form a triangle beneath the occipital bone. Comb the hair straight out and cut a line at the desired length and angle. The length and angle of the first section will be the guide for the rest of the haircut. Take a second section parallel to the first, comb the hair out and slightly back and cut using the first section as a guide. Now continue towards the back of the ear. Notice how the sections have radiated to become more horizontal. Notice also that the hair in the centre in the back of the head is lifted slightly higher than the hair behind the ear. This creates a gradual change in weight build-up. Once a point just below the crown level is reached, the sections extend through into the side. Continue using the previously cut hair as a guide. Allow for the ears by gently pressing the hair as shown. Hold the hair in the fingers to continue the graduated line through to the front. Now continue through to the front hairline. Due to the fineness of the hair, the next section incorporates the natural parting.
Now continue using the previous hair as a guide. Now continue with the same sectioning and cutting procedure for the second side.
Check the shape regularly for balance and symmetry. Now continue up to the original parting using the same cutting and sectioning procedure as before. Refine the outlines by using a pointing technique.
Once the outline has been established, check the graduation and remove any excess weight. Dry the hair by using a wrap drying technique which will produce natural root lift. After the wrap drying stage, control the mid length and end by turning the hair under. The blow dry will be more even if both hands are used for either side. Once the blow dry is complete, check the entire shape including the area around the crown. Lightly dust off any excess length. Check through the outlines with the pointing technique. Cross check the graduation by working from the corners into the centre. Then finally check the area around the crown to ensure the balance in this area is correct. And here you have the finished result, a shape that epitomizes Sassoon technique.